Hello friends. So it's a new month and we are in the month of April. So we're going to be talking about the new life. Remember how last month we talked about look up to the sky and we named a lot of things that we can see up in the sky. Now we're going to learn a new life. So a lot of teachers are reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar because it talks about a new life. I as well have posted up on our story books um, The Very Hungry Caterpillar and if you want to listen to it. So in the story, you know, there's an egg on, on a leaf and then something pops. And what pops out is The Very Hungry Caterpillar right here. And that is eats and eats and eats a lot of food and it goes into a cocoon. You see the brown cocoon and then later after it comes out of the cocoon it becomes a beautiful, that's right, a beautiful butterfly right here. Good job. So as well there's a new life and a flower. You know friends before it becomes a flower first it's a little bitty seed and then there's a sprout. We send home a seed and you can do it at home and see how it grows. You see the root and then there's a seedling. The leaves start coming up and then it keeps growing and growing and growing and it becomes a plant, not a flower. Flower has grown already, friends. And so there's new life. Later on, I'm gonna show you how to do the as well the new life for a chicken and other other animals. All the animals have you know a new a new life. Just like mommies, you know, bring in a new life. They have babies, and maybe have babies at home, or maybe mommy's carrying a baby in her belly. So there's a new life there, you know, there's something to thank God of all those new lives around us. So now I'm going to do an activity. So parents, what are you going to need for this activity, which is, it's a plate. If you don't have a plate, you can cut out the a paper, a white paper into a circle if you want if not plain fine just a, a regular paper is fine and then you're going to need some tissue paper it doesn't matter what color i chose pink um some tissue paper but it needs it's gonna need to be cut up like in a square and then you can cut out a leaf from construction paper a little small clothespin or you can use a pipe cleaner as well and then some pom-poms to create a caterpillar then we need we just need some kind of um, egg it kind of picture so that's I punched holes uh, um, on white paper so they can be on our eggs and as well we need brown paper or um, brown paper from a bag as well and how you do is for our little cocoon I rolled it up and then I just put the loose so just to you know make it into look like a cocoon all right friends so you can paint your plate around I did it I used um, these little dot art things those are really fun for the kids they love doing that different colors it's up to you and you can tell them you know stay around this stay around the circle you know just around not inside because you're as well teaching them you know to follow instructions so it's very good as well and um, parents you can draw a line down and sideways and you can write a butterfly the eggs the caterpillar 
and not a cocoon. Um, so what we do here is I create a butterfly using this, the, the wrapping paper, well not the wrapping paper, but the gift, make sure that goes inside. So we put it like this, you see? And like I said, you can use a pipe cleaner or just like, you know, like this, it's fine. I'm going to use a clip. And then that's going to go on our butterfly like that. Then we have our leaf. It's going to go on top of our our leaf like that and so as you go along I'm not gonna glue it because it's gonna take me a while to do this to glue it and sometimes there's not enough memory to keep going on the on the program that we're using and then with the pom-poms um, if you're an explorers to aim to be um, you should be gluing by now so in my class we do the the, the students do the gluing part so um just make sure you know you tell them one dot or you know that that's enough glue because they get carried away so then we use pom-poms to do the caterpillar like that and then we have our cocoon and then they just glue it can put the glue they can squeeze the bottle that helps their motor skills when they're squeezing the glue as well and their hand coordination so in my class um and in Ms. Shauna's and Christian's class um they can start gluing because in my class they, they already do it so yeah just you know make sure that keep an eye on the amount of glue so this is gonna this is our craft friends for a Brand new life, you see, first is the the eggs, like in the book, and then he becomes a caterpillar, and then it goes into a cocoon, and that all happens. Hop! And there's a beautiful butterfly. So that's our art for today, friends. I hope you enjoy, and mommy and dad can help you at home. Bye-bye.